Hello everybody and welcome to my October collective haul. I have waited two weeks into October to film this first clip and that is probably not a great idea because I have a ton of wax to show you, but I do have some stickers as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the first order here, which is from Carly Plans. I placed my first order last month and then I think maybe like the next day or two days later, I realized that she made customs. So I was like, <laughs> Let me hop on that. So I'm really stoked about these customs. I actually have like a list going because I want to order some more customs. I have a lot of ideas. These are so stinking cute. So it, I do have the same freebies because I ordered during the same sale. So this is from the PGW sale or PGU, not W. Oh my gosh. Um, a cute little like fall sampler. I really love her paper. It smells like paint, like, but in a good way. I don't want that to sound bad. But it's like such a nice premium matte and these stickers are so nice. So that's that. This is the September freebie. Like I said, I did order in September and then this was the $15 plus freebies. So I got a bunch of freebies, which is always nice. And then her scripts are on their black ink, which I'm totally okay with. And they're on the clear paper. So these are all of the customs that I ordered. I do get her first font choice. Um, I just love it so much. I think it's really, really pretty, but she does offer multiple font choices. So the first one I got is toppings. If you watch my plan with me, you already know. I got listings. Um, a lot of wax and shop stuff. Pack orders. Oh, see, I love how like they stack. Like that's so cute. Print invoices. Post office drop. I'm obsessed with those. And then I got make wax. So all like shop stuff, but I just wanted to kind of test everything out. And I mean, I'm stoked. So I'm <laughs> going to be ordering more of those. Okay, next I have a bunch of wax stuff. Um, I'm sorry if you don't like wax. I just have a lot. First things first, I have an order from Broadway Wax. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm completely out of focus here. I have an order from Broadway Wax. She, or they do a monthly sub, like sub box, but you can see what the theme is and what the scents are before you purchase. And this month was Beetlejuice. So of course I had to order. That's my all time favorite thing ever of all time, of all time, of all time. So they did a Beetlejuice subscription box. It's already a mess because I have, opened it and dug into it but it was sealed with this incredible sticker i actually really want this sticker but this is everything inside so how do i want to do this i'll just do it like this so the first thing here is actually not a wax melt it's a creepy gummy which i'm saving to share with avery i think avery's gonna think it's hilarious it's shaped like like a little bug like a little bug so i'm gonna give that to avery i think she'll really she'll get a kick out of it um Let's see. So the first thing on top here is Beetlejuice himself. These are so big too. This is in Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice featuring blueberry cheesecake, zucchini bread, and berry cobbler. And like these are hefty. Like look at this. Hold on. Nice. Oh, sorry. I think it smells fantastic. I mean, I love blueberry scents. I really don't smell any zucchini bread. That might be like a base note, something. Oh, I have wax everywhere. Something that I might smell um, while it's melting, but I'm obsessed with it. So that is the first one. The next one here is this like, I would say it's like just little brittle shapes, I suppose, with like worms on top, which is kind of interesting and fun. This is in Home, featuring honey buttered rolls, black raspberry vanilla, blackberry jam, butter cookie. Oh my God. I think Target just let me know that my pickup's ready. I think so. Mmm. This smells like the black raspberry and blackberry the most. Once again, I think the honey buttered rolls might just be a base note that I'll get on warm, but I am so stoked about that one. Um, I'll just do this one. Next, this is like a cute little, it's not a little shot cup by any means. This is a pretty thick shot cup here. It looks like a cinnamon roll on top. This is the banana boat song, banana bread, cinnamon buns, pistachio pudding cake, and Nana's kitchen. Oh my God. What a scent, what a scent. That is so fantastic, absolutely in love with that one. Next, you have a bunch of little shapes. You have like the potion bottles, a large one and two small ones. This is Say My Name, Honeydew Melon, Kiwi, Raspberry, Sugared Strawberries, Lemonade, Hello Sugar. Oh my God, it smells like a fizzy scent. A fizzy, sugary lemonade for sure. I think that's really, really delicious. Love that one. Definitely will get a lot of melts out of that one. Another little thing of shapes here. Look at the colors, so pretty. Love this. This is Fright of Their Lives, Pink Frosted Cake, Angel Cake, Cookies for Santa. Yeah, this is a very like 
sugar cookie, but it has that, yeah, it has a strawberry scent to it too, which is really nice. It kind of gives off a little bit of strawberry pound cake, which is nice. There's that one. Next, we have this wheel. I've gotten a couple of these before, and this is nice because just you just literally can pop it and melt one of these. I'd probably do two, two, but it's a huge wheel. So this is the whole bean dead thing featuring caramel apple, green apple Jolly Rancher, buttercream frosting, and caramel popcorn. Whew. Oh my god, all I smell is caramel popcorn, but I'm not mad about it. I love a good caramel popcorn scent, so that's delish. I'll do that one last. It's huge. This one here is, looks like a little like a little cocktail. So cute. This is Barbara 2.0, sparkling mojito, blackberry sage, and oh wait, sparkling mojito, blackberry sage, spearmint, and sugar. Look at the. Can you guys see the sparkles? So pretty. Oh, that actually doesn't smell too bad because typically I don't like any sort of like alcoholic alcohol -y kind of smells. This one's pretty good. And then the last thing I have in this box, I'm going to just toss the box because it's getting in my way, is two, two snap bars. Two snap bars. This is in Ready, Set, Not Yet, Chai Tea, Sweet Cream, Butter Cookie. Very Chai Tea. I actually think out of all of them, this is probably my least favorite, but I'll still melt it because I don't mind it like i don't absolutely hate it but that was the broadway wax subscription for october okay next i have two orders from villainous wax i have a sub box and then i have their halloween advent which if it's not like a cutesy advent that i do with my kids i'm it's the thousand percent going to be opened right away so i did already open it i'll do the subscription box first i'm gonna open it right here though because um my address is on it but here it is. This was the, I think this was actually the September theme, which was, oh my god, I love it. It was Monster Mash. So it's like all like classic monsters, which is so cool. So I'll keep that. I need to move these stickers out of my way because like I keep bumping them. So it's that. So I'm going to pull everything out and then reference the card, I guess, again. Um, so first things first is this, which is Monster by Moonlight. This is a parasoy candle from Laughing Crow Candle Co., um, Monsters at Midnight, let's say. It has the werewolf on the top here. I think, I don't think it's on here. A Wolfman Candle from Laughing Crow Candle Co. So this is Wolfsbane Blooms, Moonlight Cedar Trees, Smoldering Campfires, Incense, and Feral Musk. It is a purple candle. And yeah, it's really manly and musky, and I'm not a huge fan of it, but I will keep it because I like the packaging. Okay, so first thing, I have a car diffuser oil here, which I still need to figure out how these work. This is in The Bride. It's blueberry muffin, peaches, and vanilla cream. Oh, and it has a string, which is really nice. I actually really like the, um, like, rose display, I suppose. But I really need to figure out how these work because, like, it smells great. Oh, my God. I'm not getting it open. Well, yeah, I need to figure that out. So if you know how to do that, let me know. I feel like you would hang it, right, in your car? Maybe I'm crazy. I don't know. But I'm going to put it back in this baggie for now. But I think it smells really delicious. So love that. Um, next we have, I'll do the snap bars. The first one here is Sense of Evil. Sense of Evil is inspired by the Mad Ghoul. This is Ode Wood, Saffron Petals, and Black and Violet. I love the color of this. Oh my god, my hands feel like oily now. Sorry. Mmm. Very earthy, not really my thing, but again, not a scent that I like hate enough to not melt. So I'll keep that in the like okay pile. Next is Mummy Dearest, which is inspired by the mummy. Dried linen, herbal cannabis, and exotic lo lotus blossoms. Honestly, I don't think I smell too much. So I'm interested to see what that will smell like on warm. Then you have this brittle here, just a few pieces, and It's Alive, which It's Alive is, yeah, Frankenstein's monster. Sweet pistachio pudding cake and fluffy blueberry mu muffins. I wish you got more because that's like one of my favorite combos. Yeah, this smells amazing. And unfortunately, I feel like this will only be one melt for me, but I do really like that like a lot. Next, we have a shot cup here in Bloodsucker. It has like the blood stuff on top. Bloodsucker is inspired by Dracula. This is succulent black cherry mixed with blackberry scones. Holy snap. Yeah, that smells amazing. 
I really like that one a lot. Definitely a favorite of the bundle here or the box. Then you have a bunch of these little shapes here. So you have the creeper, um, right? The creeper, yes, inspired by House of Horrors. This is lush thyme bushes, cedar trees, and warm cardamom. It smells like grass. So I'm gonna put that in the like, it's okay pile. Then you have the creature. The creature is inspired by the creature from the Black Lagoon. This is dark murky waters mixed with avocado, mint, and bamboo. It's shaped like a heart. Again, a very like earthy scent. It's okay. It's like, again, not my fave. Um, Long Way to Go is inspired by It Came From Outer Space, stainless steel spaceships, citrus slices, fresh mint, and crushed basil leaves. I really like that one, actually. That's not terrible at all. So I definitely will put that in my I like it pile. Um, Catch Me If You Can. I love how the font changed, too, by the way. Catch Me If You Can, which is inspired by The Invisible Man, a masculine blend of jasmine, amber, cedarwood, and freshly dry cleaned suits. Mm, smells like a man. Love that one. Very good. And then the last one here is Molehole, which is inspired by... Where's mole hole? Oh, right here. Inspired by the mole people and created by Silas O'Connell. So this is ancient underground ancient underground tunnels, common brown mushrooms, and dried grass. Oh gosh, that smells like fresh grass. Whew. So honestly, I'm not super impressed with this box, but then again, it's just because you guys know my scent preferences are very not earthy and more like bakery, fruity, sweet. Um, I did cancel my sub. They are not doing sub boxes, I don't think, in 2022 um, because Villainous wants to start bringing more to shop, which I'm very excited about because I love being able just to like purchase stuff. But I did really enjoy these scents. These were definitely my faves. I will possibly melt the other ones just to see if I like them, especially these because they're just one-off melts. But yeah, once again, not necessarily like a huge fave, but let's get into the advent. Let me do this because I don't want to accidentally show my address and forget to edit it out because that would be me. So for the advent, I have everything here. As you can see, I've already opened everything. Oh, sorry, I totally just smacked you. As you can see, I've already opened everything because it's just the way I am. So, ah, little tissue paper. So you did get this here. Well, first you got a bunch of candy, which I'll take to Ave because I know Avery will really enjoy that. So in here, okay, so in here, sorry. Cute little sticker, like a vinyl die cut. Villainous Wax business card, some stickers from Rasburl Burl Designs, cute little, excuse me, Halloween themed. These are from Adorably Amy Designs, which are really nice. They're in like a, like a, the foil color is like a shattered black, but they're a countdown to Halloween, which is especially nice if you're actually using this as an advent. A Villainous Wax sticker, and then you have like the thank you for your purchase, um, and then like explaining every single one so 12 nights is like a villainous wax favorite and then a spooky new scent so i'll actually keep this out because i feel like you're gonna need to know that so like i said i already did open all of these but i opened them a couple weeks ago so i don't really remember them um so let's see so this is 12 nights this is a villainous wax favorite so this looks like this it's super cute this is basic witch toasted espresso pumpkin spice and whipped cream i've seen people like melt this Definitely would say this is a favorite. That smells fantastic. Eleven Nights here is a new scent. This is in Who You Gonna Call? Orange Peels, Apple Slices, Falling Leaves, and Sizzling Slimer Slime. Mm, that smells really good. It smells like a fizzy scent, so I really like that one. Let me have ten, right? Ten. This one. This is Bly Manor. Oh, I love Bly Manor. Ghostly Pine Forest, Murky Pond Water, Twisted Amber, and Oakwood. And this is a new scent as well. Ooh, that's very, like, masculine. Like, very masculine. But that's not bad. Um, we need nine. Nine nights. Okay, so this one is a Villainous Wax favorite. This is Bag of Bugs, Spicy Cinnamon Buns, Creamy White Icing, and Mistletoe Sprigs. Oh, oh my god, that's so cute. Sign me up. Oh my god, what? I don't smell cinnamon buns at all. It just smells like the mistletoe sprigs. In 
interesting. Okay, on to the Eight Nights. This is a, another fave. Cannibal, Bloody Black Cherry, Vanilla Beans, Masculine Leather, and Fava. Fava Beans? Mmm. That smells really good. I really like that one. Seven Nights is another Villainous Wax favorite. This is Foolish Mortals, Creamed Butter, Brown Sugar, Clove, Orange, and Birchwood. Oh, I can see why that's a favorite. That's really nice. Six Nights is a new scent. Sorry if you hate this. I'm doing this in December too because I got another advent. This is Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark, Black Currants, Jasmine Essence, and Spicy Lord of Misrule type, which is a lush type. I actually really enjoy that. What was that? Six? Yeah, so we have five. Five is another spooky new scent. Spooky AF, crisp mac apple dipped in buttery caramel and crunchy toffee bits. <laughs> I mean, say less, honestly. Oh yeah, that's fantastic. Love that one. Then we have Four Nights, which is a favorite. This is Witch's Ghost. Witch's Ghost? Sure. Hay Roofs, Vanilla Bean, and Cardamom, Infusion, and Ravencroft Books. It's a little witch's hat. Another like light masculine kind of scent. And then Three Nights is another spooky new scent. This was a fave if I didn't say that. This is a new scent, it's Halloween Town. Grandma Aggie's Magical Pumpkin Souffle. I mean, again, say less. Ugh, love that one, it smells amazing. Then we have Two Nights, which is a fave. Oh my god, I need to rip them, sorry. So this is a fave, Jack-O-Lantern, which is charred pumpkin, caramel drizzles, and freshly dried hay. Mm, caramel is really prominent in that one. I love that. And then One Night, which is a spooky new scent. Oh, it's nice and big. These have been kind of small, but this is like a thick puff. This is Black Flame Candle, Juniper Berries, White Musk, Pear Puree, Candle Smoke, and a Virgin's Match. Let me see what it looks like. I was curious as I put a spell on you. Mmm. I actually don't mind that. That smells pretty good. It smells like almost like marshmallow fire sidey. And then the open on Halloween one is another spooky new scent. Oh, I love these. Super cute. This is in Boo to You, pumpkin, persimmon, persimmon, excuse me, cinnamon, warm yellow cake, and caramel popcorn. Once again, say less. Obsessed with that. That's absolutely fantastic. So that was my Villainous Wax 13 Nights of Villoween. I'm actually pretty stoked about this. If they do this again next year, I'll probably get it again just because I really enjoy fall scents, but that is gonna be it for the first part of this haul. Alrighty, I am back with the second and last portion of this haul. Forewarning, we are having like a wind advisory right now. The wind is so loud. So if you hear it, that is what's happening. So this is the last part of the haul. Sorry this haul hasn't been, I mean, I don't remember the first part too much, but I apologize if this haul hasn't been as long as previous ones. I know I personally love me a good long haul, but um, this one's not too crazy. So this second part has stickers and wax, of course, more stickers than wax, but you know, you'll see as we go. So first things first, I have an order from Caress Press. Um, Maggie released these foil bundles. I've just been obsessed with her like themed foil bundles. To be fair, I'm probably not going to be able to use, I'm definitely not using any of the pumpkin spice ones yet this year. I don't know why I just started shaking, but um, I might still use these Halloween ones. So anyway, I got these mostly to save for next year. Oh my goodness. Anyway, so this is the pumpkin spice foil bundle. I got it in both gold and rose gold. I'll show you the gold version. Her rose gold is similar, if not the same as SPC, so it works perfectly when I use SPC foil. For her foil bundles, I only get the mini size. She has two options. The full size has the bougie boxes, and if it's just like a regular foil color, gold, rose gold, I have those. I don't need them. So this just comes with three sheets. The pumpkin spice one here, you can see the full boxes are super cute. They have little acorns and leaves and hearts and pumpkins. And then this bottom one has a little like pumpkin spice latte, which is super cute. I love this for like the double box, but I'm loving this like stroke box with the things in the side. That's super cute. Here you have some fun headers, 
and then like confetti headers, some deco bits, which are very cute. Your split washi, I love that it's like a pumpkin and a plaid. I think that's really, really pretty. And then the last page here has some scripts, which are always fun, a weekend banner. I love these icons so much. The burger one always sticks out to me. It's like one of my faves. Date dots and um, hole reinforcers, which is awesome. So like I said, I got that in both gold and rose gold. I purchased them, I'm pretty sure like well after I did my fall spreads anyway, but I was just like, I'll save them for next year because they're super cute. But then I did get three of the Halloween ones in gold, silver, and is this sparkly hollow? I think I got it in sparkly hollow. So I'll show you the gold one again. Again, it's just called Halloween. And I just got the mini bundle because once again, don't need the bougie boxes. So here are the full boxes here. I love that there's like a double box thing. This has like bats and candy corn. Y'all hear that? The moon, ghost, spiders, a witch's hat, like a potion bottle, a pumpkin. Super cute. I love the like the spider webs in the corner. Here are your fun headers and your fun confetti headers, the deco bits. Love, oh, I didn't even notice. Every other bow has like a bat or like a spider in it. Super cute. And then I love this down here. And again, it's the same thing, but I got that in gold, silver, and sparkly hollow. And I might use one of them for this year. I don't even know what I'm doing yet with Halloween. I feel like Halloween just started for me and I'm already stressed. But that was my order from Caress Press. Next, I have another order from Carly Plans. I've been obsessed with Carly Plans shop. It's just, it's been a problem because I get on there late at night. Like I'm scrolling on my phone late at night in bed and she has so many listings and it's the same with Planet Hannah. I have a Planet Hannah order next to me. And I'm just like, oh, add to cart, oh, add to cart. Like it is not a good thing for me. Um, but I'm super stoked for this order. Let me show you what I got. I haven't seen this order in a minute because I just put it in my haul pile and then just like stepped away. Um, so I did use Plana Hannah's code. I'll show you that in a second. So this is the October freebie. A TV, a little stocking, a candle, popcorn, a takeout bucket, books. Ooh, it looks like ice cream. And then I love the couch one with like the laptop and ice cream. And I did spend over $15. So I got the $15 plus freebie, which has some weather icons on it. This one will be perfect for today. And then I did use Planet Hannah's code, which is Hannah15 to get 15% off. And then you also get one of her freebies, which is awesome. Her freebie comes with a pillow, a camera, a plane, a TV, like an iMac, a gaming chair, a Gryffindor scarf, a Pokeball, a chicken nugget, and um, a planner. So. I love having freebies. I already have all my other Carly Plans freebies over here, so I'm just adding them to my pile because I like it. Um, oh, I can't wait to reorganize my stickers. Anywho, here's my order. So once again, I got these ghosts. I don't know why, but they're so cute, and I feel like they'd be really cute to mark just like the most generic things in Halloween spreads, like took a nap, use a ghost. I think it's really cute. So I got those. I also got these pumpkins. Um, she offers, well, not the ghost, obviously, but she offers things in different colorways. So I, feel, I wish I would have kept my invoice. Um, I feel like I got these in like the neutral colorway, maybe. I don't know. I'm sorry if I don't know, but you can just look at her, it, her Etsy shop. It's very easy. But I thought the pumpkins were super cute. So I grabbed those. I got the closed books because your girl's been reading a lot more recently. I think this is her like variety sheet. So you get some like pastels, some bright colors, and some neutrals, which is perfect for various spreads. I did get these soccer balls. Did I get them in all the colors? I don't know. If not, I think she added more in for me. So thank you. Um, Cause like, you know, I could always use them and I need a variety of colorways because it's just like, my spreads don't always match, you know? So these ones seem to be like the more bright colors. You have red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet. Purple, sorry. Me and Avery are working on the rainbow. These are more neutral colors, which are perfect some like light pastel soccer balls. And then I think this was her October colorway. Actually, I think I did order all of these. I'm like pretty positive. So, and then this is her October colorway, which she does different colorways on various months. So depending on what other colorways she does for various months, I might be picking up more of these because I could always use them. And then I did get one custom and then more scripts. So this is the custom I ordered. I got morning coffee because, spoiler alert, I think as of like mid-October, maybe um we stopped doing starbucks in the morning brian actually got me a coffee machine for our anniversary and it does like iced coffees and fraps and the, the whole nine the whole nine and it's just been so nice so i've just been making iced coffee every morning so 
I got two in morning coffee because that's what I've been doing now. And then I got these, I believe all of these are just in her shop. So I got Feeling Spendy. I like her font choice number one. Bed early and cook dinner because I don't do that very often. But I thought it was cute. So that was my little order from Carly Plans. Last but not least, I have a nice order here from Plana Hannah. It's a pretty thick one. And she put a little note that said thought you could use these, which is very sweet because I'm so excited. Uh, so let me show you everything I got. Once again, late night scrolling really be doing things to me. I gotta slow my roll. So the ones that she put I thought you could use were foiled, these right here. And this is her new font choice, which is font choice five. I'm obsessed with it here, I'll do this. But she did shows with Brian, which is so cute because we do be watching a lot of shows. So I have it in gold, silver, hollow, and rose gold. I'll do like this. Oh, I'm so, thank you, Hannah, I'm so excited. I can't wait to use these. And these are like such a good size too. So thank you for that. This was her little journaling card. I don't think I got this one yet. This is really cool, it's a bunch of like, horror movie characters, which is really nice. Hey, ghoul friends. That's so cute, I'm saving that. Okay, and then this was her freebie. I love that it's in this like really pretty blue. You have the little leaves, family time, a turkey, I am loved, a pumpkin, and then the little leaf deco down there. And then, I don't honestly don't remember what I ordered. Um, I don't think I ordered this, because why would I have just ordered it in rose gold? I don't know, but it's um, a bunch of Christmas movies. So you have like The Grinch, Home Alone, The Holiday, Jingle All The Way. This is perfect for something that we're doing in our shop. So there's that. And then I did get some more food scripts because I just have been using them a lot more. I just went with black because it's just so much easier. But if I find that I'm using a bunch of them, I'll, grip the, I'll get them in um, foil colors. So I got Chipotle in font choice four. I like four a lot because it's very like block lettery. I got the Cheesecake Factory. I feel like I got this in, this might be her first font choice. I thought it would be really nice to do this one a little bit more scripty. Whataburger in the first font choice as well. Same with Olive Garden. Panda Express in font choice four because I do a Panda Express in like I think two, one or three and I just, I'm not like the biggest fan of it but I think four looks the best. And then Popeyes in four as well, same thing. I already have those but I like those in font choice four. Just a little bit better but it's nice to have variety. And then I have a bunch of stuff that's this size. Okay, so in no particular order, first things first, I have Christmas movies, one quote overlays. Y'all know if you watch my Playing With Me's, I'm just a huge sucker for quote overlays. I love them a lot. I feel like I'm about to sneeze. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Anyway, I think these are really cute and then will be perfect for Christmas. Again, these are the Christmas overlays in gold. I love these side things she does. Like, Hannah, if you wanna do a whole sheet of just like the side stuff, I'm down. Holly Jolly, super cute. Dear Santa, it is what it is. Like, it is what it is. I also got that in silver. I have two of the Elsa underlays in hollow. I don't know. I don't have a kit in particular that I'm going to use these with yet, but I figured, you know, you could always, they're so bright. You could always use like snowflakes in hollow, so that works. This is Christmas movies two in gold. Oh, son of a nutcracker. You'll shoot your eye out. So cute. Again, Christmas movie two in silver. Same situation with this string light underlay. This was like my favorite underlay she did for Christmas that's new. Um, it's called Twinkle. I got it in green because I figured I could use this eventually. I also got Elsa in blue, the light blue. Oh my God, that's gorgeous. I actually think this might work for a future kit. Christmas movie one in silver. Plaid 2 in her gold hollow. I have a vision for this and I hope it works because I think it's going to be sick. Gold 2 or gold hollow plaid 2. I have a vision. I think it's going to be good. Again, the twinkle in red. I don't know if I got this. It's the twinkle in like the hot pink, but like <laughs> it works. <laughs> I'll probably end up using it. And then this is plaid 2 in just plain gold, which again, I'm not sure if I got these, but if I did. I feel like I probably had a vision. So that was my order from Planet Hannah. The other things over here. Thank you, Hannah, for these. I'm very excited to use them. And yeah, it was a pretty, pretty good stack. All right, and last but not least, I have two orders from Nerdy Wax Company. One actually came today, and the other I've had for a little bit. But I'm excited to go into them with you. This is, ah, geez, this is gonna be it for my wax, or my whole haul in general. So if you're not into wax, you can click off. But I'm very excited. So I ordered twice this was from i'm looking to see if my invoice is in here 
I think I might have already thrown it away. Um, this was from their like uh, Disney treats collection. I was really into it. Super excited about it. It came with their like business card. It also came with a Lion King sticker that I'll give to Avery. Okay, so Avery calls these taps, but they're little erasers and she loves these. She just gets these at school. So I'm gonna give these to her because I think she's gonna be so stoked on those. As well as these sour bright crawlers because she loves candy and I think that's all of the extras. I did get a freebie as well. This is uh, Monstropolis. It's like a couple pieces of like brittle, which is really nice because it's a full melt here. This is in Pixie Sticks and Gummy Bears. I believe this is an extra from one of their past subscription boxes. Mmm. It smells really good. It smells really like sugary and sweet. I really like that one. Okay, so treats. Let's start with this one. First one I got is the clamshell. I thought it was really cute. I love the little witch's hat on here. I love how dark and like black it is almost. I think that's awesome. This is called Witch's Brew Mousse. Blackberry jam, apple, and chocolate cookies. I think anything that says blackberry jam, I'm like down for. Mm. That smells fantastic. I don't know if I smell the apple, but I can totally smell the blackberry and the chocolate, which is actually a pretty good combo. I'm really excited to melt that one. Oh, this I'm so excited. So I have the other one of these that they did that looks like the Pixar Toy Story Pop Tart. I haven't melted it yet because it's just so dang cute. But these, I mean, this is the cutest little snap bar ever. This is in chocolate hazelnut Pop Tart, hazelnut chocolate cake. I like, I'm telling you guys, these candy corns are real, right? They have to be. Like, I just want to take a bite. I just want to just, just like a little, a little nibble. Hold on. I just want to see. Like, these candy corns look so freaking real. I mean, it smells fantastic, but I'm, I'm telling you, I need to know if these are real. Like, I, like, they can't be, can they? They look so real. I'm getting, like, crap all over my hands. Nope, they're wax. Okay. I just wanted to pinch it just, like, a tiny bit. Okay, it's wax. <laughs> Good to know, because I probably would have tried to eat it. That's, like, the most realistic-looking thing I've seen in a really long time. That's really cool. So, that was the chocolate hazelnut Pop-Tart. Then I got this because it's just so dang cute. This little shot cup with a little Mickey melted ghost on top. Spooky ghost cupcake, chocolate Oreo cookies, vanilla cream. Look at this, you guys. It's just so little melty guy. Mm. Smells fantastic. Smells like cookies and cream. Really love that one. So I'll add that there. And then the last one I got is this one. This is like a sugar. Oh, it's two. Sprinkles are just everywhere. Little sugar cookies. So cute. This is the Halloween Sugar Cookies Sugar Cookie Blend. Should I pull one out? I kind of want to. Ooh. Mm. Oh my. That's a really nice sugar cookie. That smells really good. I actually really like that one. I think that's probably my favorite, honestly. So, oh my gosh, my nose is running. So that was my first order. And then this one I actually just got today. So again, it comes with the same card. Some more of these. Oh, they're in very berry though. Avery's gonna be stoked on that one. Also has a monster. Ooh. Okay, I'm back. Um, did y'all hear that? I don't know if you did or not, but I think it was our. I don't want to say fire alarm. What are those called? Smoke detectors. Maybe I don't know, but it said fire, and I panicked, ran downstairs, literally like kicked my chair backwards ran downstairs and brian was just standing there he's like are you okay and i'm like yeah we're good are y'all okay reagan's like scream crying because it woke her up okay i guess everything's okay that was like weird but i got a monsters ink sticker <laughs> i don't know guys that was terrifying so anyway sat for a minute to catch my breath because i ran up and down the stairs but i didn't get all of the wrapping out of this one quite yet so i'm gonna just put it on my lap and pull from there. This particular order was um, the Alice in Wonderland subscription box extras. I just got a few that I wanted to try. I got a sample, this isn't even a sample, it's literally a full size cup of Queen of Hearts, which I did not order this. I think this is just my freebie, which is very exciting. It is cranberry and freshly cut roses. Actually smells pretty stinking good, so stoked about that one. And then the ones that I did order, okay, are these here. So these are like little sizes, like tinier size shot cups. This is in Drink Me, which is cherry and pineapple. Oh, that's amazing. 
that smells absolutely fantastic. The next one is Eat Me in Graham Cracker Cookies and Sweet Frosting. This is a little light on the bakery, but I truly think this is probably going to be one of those ones you melt and it's just amazing. Then I got this one, which is in Very Merry on Birthday. I was obsessed with this like cake. This is just supposed to smell like birthday cake, of which it do. It do. Actually, I kind of smell the sprinkles, which I know sounds weird, but I can smell the sprinkles. And then the last one I got, honestly, because I just loved it, it was so cute, the little shape of the Cheshire Cat. And it's kind of small. It's a lot smaller than I thought it would be, but I'm not mad because it's so, like, intricately done. So pretty. So this is Cheshire Cat, Dragon Fruit, and Grape. Mm, that smells amazing. Look at this, guys. I just want to hold it. It's so cute. It's your little baby. It smells really good, though. I feel like you could definitely cut this in half and get two melts out of this, which is awesome. So this was from their sub, bo sub box extras, which they do bring to shop quite often, which I think is kind of fun. But yeah, that's it from Nerdy Wax Company, and that's also going to be it for my October haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.